The Utah Division of Oil, Gas, and Mining was originally established in 1955 with a mission to foster the exploration and development of Utah's natural resources. The great state of Utah has an abundant supply of these resources, including oil, gas, and minerals. Utah's oil, gas, and mining industry is one of the largest contributors to Utah's economy and helps fund critical needs such as education and roads. Our unique resources allow us to be more self-sustaining as a state while improving residents' overall quality of life. The Utah Division of Oil, Gas, and Mining ensures responsible, safe resource development as well as reclamation of Utah's lands. The mission of the Division of Oil, Gas, and Mining is principally to regulate and have state oversight of the extractive industries in Utah. And we do that with three primary objectives. One is to foster the responsible development of those resources, to protect the public from any hazards associated with those resources, and to restore the environment as much as possible. With many important responsibilities, the Division of Oil, Gas, and Mining is organized into four key programs. The coal program is responsible for providing permits to coal companies, completing site inspections to confirm compliance, and overseeing the reclamation and bond release process. We issue permits. We uh, require uh, the coal mines to uh, conduct their operations in accordance with the rules, which requires them to do certain practices during mining and then reclaim the mine sites once they're done. To ensure that, we require them to post a reclamation bond with our agency that guarantees that they will complete the reclamation work or otherwise they'll lose their bond. Coal extraction is important to Utah. In 2015, six Utah coal operators produced 14.5 million short tons of coal, valued at $508 million. Communities in Carbon, Emory, Sevier, and Kane counties rely on the coal industry to provide jobs and stimulate their local economies. Utah contains over 500 different minerals and ore deposits that hold close to 30 different metals, including copper, gold, and silver. The Minerals Program oversees all non-coal mining operations in the state, from Kennecott Copper to small operations mining for trilobite fossils. Staff works to ensure mining operation procedures are followed. This includes verifying operators work within permit boundaries, making sure mining operations pose no threat to public safety or the environment, and that adequate bonds are in place to ensure reclamation. The the primary focus of our program is to ensure that mined land is reclaimed, which means that it's taken back to uh, a useful post-mining land use. And that can be anything from wildlife habitat to commercial development to housing or, or even farmland. In 2015, copper was the largest contributor to the value of non-fuel minerals in Utah having an estimated value of $551 million and mostly produced from Kennecott Utah Copper Corporation's Bingham Canyon mine. There's nothing in our life that doesn't have something to do with uh, mineral extraction of some sort, absolutely nothing. Whether it's food or clothing or, or buildings, everything has something to do with, with mining minerals. Utah's mining legacy dates back as early as the 1800s, in which copper, silver, and uranium were mined across the state. In the past, when mines stopped producing, they were simply abandoned, leaving behind equipment, open shafts, tunnels, and piles of waste rock. In 1975, the Utah Mindland Reclamation Act was passed, making it illegal for mines to be abandoned. We've closed approximately 6,000 abandoned mine openings in the state of Utah since the 34-year history of the program. Uh, we've also reclaimed hundreds of acres of uh, coal mine legacy problems. With approximately 20,000 abandoned mines statewide, the Abandoned Mine Reclamation Program works to protect the public from dangers of old mines by sealing off access to openings and cleaning up waste. Since the program began in 1983, over 6,000 mine openings have been closed. The state of Utah is rich in oil and gas, ranking 12th in the country for crude oil production and 11th in natural gas gross production. Currently, there are over 16,000 oil and gas wells statewide that division staff are responsible for inspecting. Well, we have a lot of rules and regulations we need to drill oil and gas wells in Utah, so it's our job to make sure everyone complies with those rules and regulations. Part of the division's mission is to foster responsible use, and so we 
inspect to see that the operators are following those guidelines. Whether the industry is booming or drilling is slow, these wells must continually be inspected in order to ensure compliance and adherence to safe engineering practices. One of the key resources is we alleviate the risk associated with natural resource development. Mining obviously doesn't happen without impact. Drilling doesn't happen without impact. But if we can minimize those impacts and restore the land as much as possible, then we know that these impacts are going to be transient. The Utah Division of Oil, Gas and Mining wants Utah residents to understand the important roles energy and mineral resources play in maintaining our overall quality of life. Revenues generated from these operations fund education, road infrastructure, and benefit local communities by supplying jobs. The role of the division is to ensure these operations are done responsibly while protecting public safety and our environment. For more information on the programs, processes, and strategies for responsible development, visit ogm.utah.gov.